Hey guys, Ruby here. Um, sorry, I've been um, off YouTube for a few days. All of a sudden, my power ran out because it was a storm. And then um, the next morning, I woke up and my phone needed an update. So all my apps weren't working. And I just took it as a blessing, you know, because... You don't want to be too involved in something, especially during these times. Like, even YouTube, you know. I don't want to find myself constantly on YouTube. It was nice to get a little break and gather myself and my thoughts. So. Anyway, I've, I started, have had a few dreams. Um pretty much every night since I've been celebrating Feast of Tabernacles and definitely from God so I'll um, give you these uh, dreams in a little series but um, the first dream I think it was on uh, Friday but I'm, I don't remember for sure but it was a powerful dream of me dying for the Lord. I denied the mark of the beast. And it was easy. I, I didn't have any hesitation. But it was really just a dream about how I could have died, you know. I don't know if I'm going to die or if it was just like a... A glimpse of what some people are going to go through. Or if I'm really going to go through it. Either way you know. God be the glory. But. Um, I was really just interested in how I was going to die. Because that night before. I actually asked the Lord. Because he's given me a rapture dream. But he's never given me a dream of me dying. You know. And I was just wondering like what was going to happen to me and then that very night that I was thinking that the Lord gave me a dream of me dying so I either am going to be raptured or I'm going to die it doesn't matter but I'll get into this dream so it was uh it seemed pretty real I was like just wondering what they had planned because I had no fear I was like okay you know what go ahead kill me I had no fear. It was intense, but I woke up happy that I had that dream. And it was me. The The way that they chose to kill me was to put me in an ice-cold bath. Like, it was like I was going to be frozen or something. But I was pretty much going to die, like, from hypothermia. Like, just getting cold and I was like okay you know what whatever I'll do it sure and I did it boldly and I was like sure I was freezing but I even was just preparing my body spiritually to die like while I was in that bath it felt so empowering to not be afraid of death glory to God and the only thing I was thinking was, where's my baby? And it may be sad to some, but I wanted my baby to die with me. I did not want him to be left in this world with in the hands of these evil, wicked people. I would have rather him die and be in heaven the sooner the better. If it was, I don't know, if it, I was dying before the rapture or after, but I needed my baby to make sure he was okay. Turns out, he was still alive, so I was like, no, I need my baby. And we were dying together in that bath. It was pretty crazy, but I know the Lord was was happy not that I died but that I was willing to go through that for him 
<laughs> and next thing you know, next thing the scene changes and I'm in heaven. And I'm in like an area, it's not really like the library, but it's like an area similar to the library. And it's like just a smaller version, I guess, of what the library is or could be. And it was just cool because they were like explaining me the customs in heaven and how it's like, yeah, you don't have to really pay to get this book. Someone was like telling me in my spirit, you just... um you need to write your name down so that they know you have the book. And yeah, it's just, it, it was just like that, like a simple routine of how things operate in heaven. There was another scene too, I just don't, it was like I was in a restaurant, but I don't remember how it went down there. But it felt like I was in heaven, so yeah. That was the first dream, and it was very powerful. I woke up feeling like yeah lord i will die for you if that is what is needed because we all could die some of us could die before the rapture so it is good to prepare for anything and i'm glad that he gave me that dream especially because i was just thinking it which just shows me i'm i'm grateful that he's reading my mind okay. and speaking back hallelujah but that was um the first dream and I pray you guys get uh, blessed from this dream and stay encouraged for these times. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.